So side control. So let's say you get past and you pass his guard, okay? I'm gonna take this elbow here and I'm gonna go into what is called a scarf hold, okay? Because I have the underhook here, all right? I'm gonna take his hand, okay? And I'm gonna start moving it and bring my knee over here and I'm gonna get here and pull it into my leg here. What I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna trap it with my knees here so I control the elbow and there's tension. And then you move right to that wrist and then push it down. To control the wrist, I'm gonna control the fingers. Okay, and it's, you know, I mean, sure he can move, okay? But you gotta find the right angle to lock that elbow down because I'm, I'm giving counter tension with the leg. So it's like spider guard, you know, you push, but you don't wanna extend too far. As I'm locking his elbow down here and you back it up with the other leg. So there's pressure on his kind of bicep and then your hand goes right to the fingers. Not necessarily to the wrist, but to the fingers. And then, and then you push. And you control the whole hand when you control the fingers. It's very good control here. Even when you have the back, don't go for the wrist. Go for the fingers from the back. Pinch here, just then push. Don't push too hard, because wrist locks feel like immediate. I can't stand my fingers because my hands don't work. <laughs> right. Here, that elbow flat underneath because remember you also have arm lock step over here you have key locks all kinds of stuff here okay but from here here get that wrist here control it slide the knee over kick the leg and reclaim that hand because I need you guys here so I'm pushing and lock it right here and then move to the wrist and to the hand he may be able to move it, but it's going to be tough. If you're here, he can make a fist, and it's going to be hard for you to manipulate it. So you go to that fingers and squeeze the fingers because it doesn't feel good. Yeah, it sucks. Yeah, and then you just, you know, but don't finger lock it. You can twist it and move it. If he keeps it stiff, look, I'm pulling it over yeah. my own uh, thigh as a focal. So you're here because I want you guys to be here so that also you can go and you have an arm lock right there. Okay, so side control here, right hip to right hip, head low, keeping him flat and pinned. Cup that elbow here, and is that thing recording? Yes, all right. Here, cup it, slide your knee under, go back to the wrist and push it, slide your knee over and just kick it and reclaim it. Over here, as long as you trap it, this is kind of like a spiral, this yeah. one. That one doesn't hurt as much. Yeah, there it is. Very I haven't bent your wrist. <laughs> All right, and keep this you bring it over, get the knee here and just keep that leg and keep the pressure here. So I just want this V of your knee in the V of his elbow. Pull it, pinch right here. So it's almost like a slicer so you keep that tension. Because wrist locks come on real fast and it's tough to hit it without really uh, cranking, you know what I'm saying? And your weight is on him because my hips off the mat too. So it's like I'm trapping it here, back it up, and go from this sleeve control right to the fingers, and then push it or twist it. And it's hard for him to move it. Yeah. Try to move around a little bit. Yeah, I can. It's a good. Keep your head down here. <laughs> Try that. One, two, three. Two wrist lock and an arm lock. What's up, John? Good day, thanks. Okay.